Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Salesforce to Tableau in 2024. So first of all, Tableau is a powerful data visualization tool that can provide deep insights into your Salesforce data. So today, we will guide you through the steps to seamlessly integrate these platforms uh, with each other. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you, you can use if you want. And of course, you'll need to go to the Seattle section, go and open sales like force.com, hit the enter button and go and open the same with Tableau. So just type here, tab low and hit the enter button and of course go to the first link right here so of course once you are here as you can see if you go uh, to salesforce of course you'll need of course if you find any problem in the language you can simply change it from url change this into eu if you are in europe or simply just go to the connection here or sorry uh, like on the list of this connection you'll find this just go and click on all other countries english here all other countries if you are in asia or pacific so then click on English. As you can see, it will change the page into English. So here, you can simply just go and have a login. Click on login to login into your Salesforce account. If you don't have an account, you can click on try it for free and create a new account. As simple as that. Very simple. As you can see, uh, you will get 30 days free trial. No obligation, no payment, and no credit card required. So you don't have to, to worry about anything. And yeah, the same will be for Tableau. As you can see, you'll be able to try it right now. As you can see, uh, you can try it for free. You can simply just sign in and if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, of course, you'll need to go and create a new one, whatever suits you. Of course, you can click here and try it for free. As an example, you just fill up those inf this information and you should be good to go. But of course, if you already have an account, you can click on sign in. So once we click on sign in, as you can see, they'll ask you for, as you can see, email and password, but you can simply just sign in with Salesforce. So if you still did not create your account, you can simply click on sign in with Salesforce and enter your information here. And here you go, Tableau and Salesforce already connects it with each other. But if you already created your account and you still like did not have it, all you need to do, of course, and then it's simply some uh, steps. So you can simply, of course, install like even Tableau in your computer, as an example. If you don't have it downloaded, you can download it if you want. And once it's installed, of course, you can open it in the desktop. You can uh, enter the connect like pane on the left side. You'll find the left uh, like side and you'll find the connect option. In the that connect, you can simply select Salesforce and a new window will pop up for you. And you will need basically all you'll be prompted to sign in into your Salesforce account. You'll have to enter again like that your Okay, that's here like that your username and password and you'll be able to log in into your sales uh, force account unless of course you already logged in you don't have to do that and of course from that you can simply start selecting like salesforce objects that you want to import for example you might choose accounts contacts or opportunities you can drag them of course and drop these objects to your data pane in the center table tableau and it will automatically create a connection and load the data from salesforce into tableau of course once the data is loaded you can simply start creating visualization it starts creating some sheets a tab at the bottom of course and the data pane on the left you will see some fields from your work uh, from your salesforce objects drag some and drop from some files in the columns and rows shelves to create like your first shot uh, as an example you can drag in, like the account name the row shelf and revenue to the column sh uh, shelf to create like a bar chart that show in revenue by account and you can of course use the show me panel on the right uh, to select different types of visualization such as pie chart line uh, like graphs or also maps and once you created your visualization you can publish your workspace to tableau server or tableau online to share with your team you can of course click on the server and sign in into your tableau server or uh, like tableau online credentials and after you sign into the uh, server as an example again you can click on publish like workbook and you can select the projects where you want to publish the workbook and once you click on publish of course your workbook is now will be available for your team and they can of course interact with the visualization visualization uh, directly in their web browser or even uh, wherever like if they have it downloaded they'll be able to do it also 
as I said, if, but if you don't have it, download. Of course, if you care about the pricing, for example, here is it. You can simply just go and check it by your own. And if you don't like uh, have it download, of course, you can just click on try here for free. Just go and fill up your information. For example, I'll just go here and fill up some random information. For example, why not? So business emails. I don't know if Google called as a business email. It's personal email. So I don't think it will work, but I'm just going to try anyway. And yeah, the phone example. So it's going to be something like that. Then, of course, you can simply check this option if you would like to receive the marketing communication regarding Salesforce products, services, and events. And you come, of course, and subscribe anytime. By registering, of course, you agree to the privacy of statement. So make sure to submit before uh, or uh, read the privacy statement before that. As you can see, check your email to activate the tableau and the verified email address. As you can see, simply I'll just go to my email provider here, which is Gmail. And I'll basically just go to Tableau here, click on let's get started, and I should be good to go. As you can see, so here you can create a password. So basically, I'll just go here and create one. And it should contain uppercase, lowercase, and special character. So I'll just go and add a special character here. So let me just go and do that, write that, and this should be confirmed. I'll just go here and click on activate. And as you can see, your tablet account is created. So all I need to do now is simply just go and log into it with the password and email that I just created. Very simple. And click on remember me if you don't want to log in all the time. When you come here, then click on sign in. So once you do so, as you can see, you're almost this. Activate your trial below. Basically, just uh, read this, as you can see, which is main service agreements, product service directory, in terms of service, then click on activate my trial. Of course, check this option as well. Once you do so, as you can see, your trial uh, is being activated. So as you can see, it could take some few minutes. When activation is complete, this, take, ooh, this page will take you to your trial. If we uh, get disconnected, don't worry, we'll also send you an email with a link to your trial. In the meantime, here is what you should uh, do to get started with your tablet example. So basically some stuff to get started with it. So as you can see, once you get your trial, okay, it seems like it's done. They will load me into another page. It's good. It is good already. Yeah. So as you can see from here, I'm already like connected. I can just go and download this if I want to. But now if I'm not downloaded yet, as an example, at the bottom here, so you'll find Salesforce. Of course, if you click on that, as you can see, you can simply use this dashboard of Salesforce right away and it will be already connected to it. But as I said, if you just go and connect with your Salesforce account, it will be connected and it can get your informations from there as you can see from here you can download this on the desktop if you want to here you can uh, as simply just simply just upload some uh, workbook as an example uh, as well if you want to you can manage project and on the bottom here you can as you can see you'll find some free training videos example if you want to learn more about how to use tableau if you are still not good at it if you click on it as you can see you'll find a lot of things like nine videos for to get started to how to prepare this, how to connect it to a data as an example how to do mapping calculations and all the other stuff that you want so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye